from Americans Abandoned Democratic Party. This was the precise moment I no longer was a Democrat. The black men lectured. You coming out trying to shame black men into voting for Kamala? Are you freaking kidding me? Has the tides shifted? Our southern border being taken over. We want Trump back. Trump's rally must turn out. We're coming for you. Hello, how are you? Welcome to Show New Trend. I'm your host of the day and my name is Elvis Derry. And it seems right now so many Democrats, the people who are supporting the Democratic Party, they're shifting their views and their opinions and they're supporting the Republicans, they're supporting Donald J. Trump. And so many of them have their own personal reasons. And this man decided to share his views and opinion on why he's no longer supporting the Democratic Party. Listen to this. This was the precise moment I no longer was a Democrat. Raise your hand if, gover if your government plan would provide coverage for undocumented immigrants. Okay. That was the precise moment that I knew I was leaving the Democratic Party. Because I was a two-time bone cancer survivor. I voted for Obama-Biden based on Obamacare. And when it was implemented in 2010, I ended up losing my insurance. I went from an insurance plan that was 185 a month with a thousand dollar deductible to that policy being canceled because it no longer met the requirements of Obamacare. And I was left with the cheapest option being 1200 a month, $6,000 deductible. 185 a month, thousand dollar deductible to $1,200 a month, $6,000 deductible. I went 10 years without insurance and I was penalized each year because I could no longer afford insurance. And in 2016, every single Democrat candidate up on that debate stage raised their hand and said they would give illegals free health care. While me as a two time bone cancer survivor lost mine. This is sincerely outrageous. How can the government that you voted for provide coverage for undocumented immigrants and yet your own people are suffering in your own country, in your own soil, in your own territory? And that is not all. Listen to what our black sister had to say about how life has been in America since the unfit president took office. Listen to this. 22% of black voters in swing states have now shown support for President Trump in 2024. But wait a minute, I thought the left said that this would be impossible, that Republicans could never get the black vote in the way that we're seeing now. See, what happened was an unfit president took office, and now my family and friends have to struggle to afford the cost of living. We are tired. We are tired of our money going towards wars across the seas and seeing our southern border being taken over. We want Trump back and we want America back. The internet was recently on fire when Barry aka Barack Obama went to lecture young black men, young Gen Z. Listen to this. You just are feeling the idea of having a woman as president. And you're coming up with other alternatives and other reasons for that. So now you're thinking about sitting out or even supporting somebody who has a history of denigrating you because you think that's a, a sign of strength because that's what being a man is, putting women down. That's not acceptable. After he finished lecturing and degrading young black men, the internet was never the same. And so many people had their own opinions and views on what Barack Obama said. Listen to this. 
My, 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 have the tides shifted. Are you kidding me? Barack Obama. I didn't vote for you either time. I saw right through you back then. And unfortunately, so many of my black brothers and sisters, my own family, they couldn't see through you. <laughs> but now they can. You coming out trying to shame black men into voting for Kamala? Are you freaking kidding me? You sound like a slave master trying to get your slaves back on the plantation. Well, Barack Hussein Obama, you know, I always appreciated the fact that Obama, as an acronym, could also be mentioned. One big ass mistake, America. You didn't do nothing for the black community when you were in office. You pandered to the LGBTQ community, though. Oh, yeah, you pandered to them. You lit up the White House and rainbow colors and everything. What'd you do for the black community? What'd you do for America? other than just inflame the race tensions in America. Yeah, that's right. You invited Black Lives Matter to the White House. You shamed Dallas police. You inflamed and stirred up racism in this country like nothing before. It wasn't Trump. It was you, Barack Obama. And now you have the audacity to try to shame black brothers to vote for Kamala? She ain't one of us. She's not pro-American. She's pro-illegal immigrant, period. Shame on you. I'm glad my black, brown, and white brothers and sisters are seeing right through you. So Barry Soitoro, aka Barack Obama, he has heard so many people talking. And so many of them are coming from the black community. Listen to this man who decided to roast Barack Obama at the same time, spitting facts. Man, if you want to sit your biscuit head ass down somewhere, goofy looking mother like slender man looking my ass like anybody trying to listen to you bro you didn't get the memo the community ain't f with you dog no bro they don't send your ass to the community like oh let me go ahead and chastise the black man no, what and just for that they sent magic johnson they send yo ass oh and don't forget uh uh sassy uh martin dl hughley Ricky Smiley, like, like the list goes on and on. Like, really, bro? Al Sharpton, that old, old snitching ass, he ain't nothing but a rat. Who's next? We ain't f with none of y'all. None of you guys represent a real black American man. Not one of y'all. If anything, y'all represent what it means to be a goddamn sellout. So, Americans. Do you feel or do you think your First Amendment is being suppressed? Listen to what our sister had to say and also she decided to mention the names of the lives that we have lost over the years. And not long ago, a 22 year old was hanged in North Carolina and where was Barack Obama? Couldn't even do that right. And now... Mama, this is for you in heaven. What's up, President Barack Obama? I'm just curious, do you know any of the names that I'm about to list? Jalen Walker, Sonia Massey, Breonna Taylor, Jelani Day, Kendrick Johnson, Aaliyah Wilson, Lauren Smithfields. You heard about a 22-year-old being hanged in North Carolina less than a month ago? Where the f*** were you? When Joe Biden and Kamala Harris referenced that we weren't any, in any combat zones, did that reference the three black U.S. soldiers that died in Jordan from a drone strike? Where were you during that? Did you go to their families? I see that you're currently chastising black Americans for not doing enough. But since you actually practice law, did you teach any black Americans their constitutional rights? <gasps> After 200 and some odd years, do you think that's something that would per personally get us further in, in life? I'm so mad at you, I don't even know what to say. You were probably the biggest disappointment I could ever imagine of my generation. Because you still fell victim to the elites. And you pick up the baton using racism to get us going. While chastising us. It's so shocking. It's so brutal. It's so cruel. It's so inhumane. Like, I don't have the right words to put it. But how are people still being hanged? in these modern times. Americans, it's time to wake up. You heard about a 22-year-old being hanged in North Carolina less than a month ago? Where the f were you? Let us take a short break. You're gonna be right back. Hey, come on. And today I'm here with uh, the big star, the legend himself, uh, Mr. Phil, all the way from the US. Welcome. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother Elsa. Welcome me to Kenya. Ah. <laughs> okay, 
So we here at the Giraffe Center in Nairobi, Kenya, and we're going to feed some giraffes. Now, giraffes are very majestic animals, um, from what the trainers have said, that even when they eat the food from you, their tongues are antiseptic, according to what they say. So let's go ahead and feed some giraffes. If you're ever in Nairobi, Kenya, make sure to bring the kids to the Giraffe Center. Kids like things like that. They give you like these little cups that you'll feed you know, the giraffes in. It's very, very fun. So let's go ahead and check that out. Whoa, nice. <laughs> Funny. He's like, I'm going back and forth. I'm so glad you are joined by this amazing lady all the way from the USA. How is the experience here in Kenya? So far it's been awesome. It's beautiful. We've seen elephants. We've been on safari. We did hot air balloons over Masai Mara. It's been so beautiful. A great time. Honestly, it should be 100% of the black people should vote for Trump because I did more for black people than any president other than Abraham Lincoln. It's true. It's true. I did more than any president other than Abraham Lincoln. Think of it. Criminal justice reform. I took care of the black colleges and universities. This man is awesome. Oh my God. Let's welcome a brusky Albis Deli. Since Trump's assassination attempt, people are still being supportive and turning up in large numbers in his campaigns. Look at how the people of Colorado, the city of Aurora, came and occupied Trump's rally. Take a look. NBC of all networks said a little while ago, they announced, it's the single longest line for anything that they've ever seen. That's pretty good. After Joe Biden and Kamala Harris took power and started to implement laws, how has life been for Americans? And do you think Kamala Harris was a good vice president? Do you think she did a good job? And right now she wants to be the 47th president of the United States of America. Do you think she will put America first? Listen to this. This message is for President Obama. First and foremost, you're not going to tell me what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. Number one, I ain't going to vote for Kamala Harris. I think that she's going to make a bad president. She's a bad vice president. Everything she does, she tries to politicize it. And she hasn't shown the fact that she wants to put America first ever. So I'm not voting for that individual. Secondly, I think that it's really sad that you would come out against black men and actually degrade them because they're not picking the person that you want them to vote for. All right. And the last thing that I'm going to say is the moment that I became a Republican and a conservative, that is when I got the most hate from the opposite party. All right. Being that I'm a conservative, being that I'm a Republican, I've always been accepted for the little bit of time that I may have been liberal. I never heard anything from the Republicans. They never came out and called me slanderous things. They never came out and called me racist things. The only time that I ever started hearing things about my skin color and about, you know, racism or whatever was when I became a Republican. And that was from Democrats that were saying that. So, no, I'm not going to be voting for who you want me to vote for. I'm going to do what I want as a man. It's only a few days to elections in America and things are boiling. Things are hot and the lesser of two evils are being exposed. Listen to this. As long as I've been alive, I've been told about this lesser of two evils. You know who was the lesser of two evils? Bill Clinton was the lesser of two evils. You know who else was the lesser of two evils? Obama was the lesser of two evils. Now let me tell you about Bill Clinton. Not only is he a misogynist, he's a reported rapist. Hillary Clinton, his wife, neoliberal neocon, lover of old wars. They were the lesser of two evils. Obama 
was the lesser of two eagles. But what happened with Obama? The promise of the first black president. Eloquent, intelligent, sharp, black. But guess what? He works for capitalism in the US empire. That piece, they forgot to tell us. We were told that he was going to get us out of the financial crisis we were in. We were told that he was going to be the saving grace for working class people who were being cheated by the banks because the housing crisis of 2008, financial crisis, were getting people out of their homes. But guess what Obama did? He bailed out the banks. One after the other at the expense of working class people. Everyone who was in the streets for almost a decade who were fighting Demanding an end to the war in the Middle East with Iraq, with Afghanistan, we're told that this man was going to finish the war or the wars. And guess what he did? He went along and bombed eight other countries. We were told that he would be the saving grace for undocumented people in this country. For 12 million of them that actually create a source of income for all of us and never reap the benefits. And he left his office as the porter in chief. And he built cages in that order. But we only remember that Trump used those cages. We never remember who built it. It was good old Obama who did it. So Americans. <laughs> so Americans. <laughs> You see that your politics are not only affecting you in your own country, but also affecting its allies and countries from other continents. Listen to what Vivian Ivey, all the way from Seattle, had to say on why she has left the Democratic Party and she's going to vote for Donald J. Trump. I voted for Donald Trump because I live near Seattle and I got to experience firsthand what it was like living in an area where Democrats had the majority of the poll and made a lot of the policies. Policies such as defund the police, mask mandates, travel mandates, closing businesses in schools, vaccine man mandates and vaccine passports, all things that Kamala backs, so does Joe. And I got to watch what happened when we did these things as well as they back open borders and sanctuary cities, which has had quite the impact on Seattle and the surrounding area. So it didn't work out too well in my area. Businesses closed at a rate of 20 to 25 percent in Seattle area compared to about 10 to 15 percent nationwide. Cost of inflation Inflation is up 25 to 30 percent compared to 16 to 20 percent nationwide. Homelessness is up 21 percent compared to 10.2 percent nationwide. Crime, muck duck, if you know what I mean, has went up 72 percent compared to 43 percent under the Biden Kamala administration. Violent crime is up 22 percent compared to 16 percent nationwide. ODs up 165%. Narcan deployments up 200%. We lost 29% of our police and over 350 police officers. And those people, peaceful protests just in that three-week Chaz Chop period alone cost the city of Seattle and the county of King County, where I live, over $7 million in damages. So yeah, that was a really good reason why. Also, the illegal immigration is putting quite the damper on our local economy. Immigra like Mass immigration always drives up prices, so that's not been a good thing for us. And Donald Trump wants to close our borders, secure our borders, wants to encourage legal, organized immigration, as well as he never considered backing the defund the police like Kamala did. And Kamala went as far as to claim that uh, if you defund the police, crime's not going to get worse and it turns out she was wrong about that are you guys noticing or even seeing what i'm seeing it seems like the tides have shifted those states where the democrats have the majority of the polls they are currently losing they are losing their votes to the republicans and voting for donald trump and to my black brothers and to the black community nobody should tell you who to vote for you are wise you are intelligent you are educated and you know what is good for the country so I'm going to leave you guys with this video. This message goes out to Barry, better known as Barack Hussein Obama, telling me and other black men how we should vote for Kamala Harris. Uh, let me tell you something here. Number one, Kamala did not grow up like me.
she grew up in upper middle class. Really, that don't matter. I'm voting on policies, and her policy sucks. So Obama, keep your mouth shut, okay? You're the gatekeeper. You kept, you kept the gate on a lot of black people being ignorant. Quite a few of them have awakened to the lies of the Democrat Party. So Barack Hussein Obama, kiss our ass because we voting for Trump. Oh, oh wow. That is beautiful. I wasn't going to bring him up. Then I saw the painting. I said, come on up because maybe he'll give it to me. That's a real artist. I, I brought him up because I thought he was going to give it to me. He didn't give it to me. He just got me to sign it. I, did, I got nothing out of that. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host, Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.